Hello dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This video's on a guide for sim updates, what to do before a sim update and then what to do afterwards. I realised on my channel I didn't have such a video. So I, 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 this is the reason I'm making this video just to be complete. This guide will be for both Xbox and PC pilots. Some of these things will be specific to PC and some of them will be specific to both platforms, Xbox and PC. So it's what to do before a sim update and then what to do after it's been updated. So let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. So the first procedure I'm going to talk you through is for PC pilots. Xbox users, you don't need to worry about this. You can actually just install the sim update when it launches and you'll be fine. For PC pilots, if you have anything in your community folder, I've got my community folder on a bespoke drive and it's in a bespoke place. But if you put anything in your community folder, Following a Sobol's advice, either move it to a different folder, your community folder, or simply rename it. I find the easiest thing to do is to rename it. So as you can see, my community folder, I've got a whole lot. There's a couple of items in here that you may also have if you're on PC. If you've ever bought an aircraft or scenery and it's installed to your community folder automatically. I'll come back to that point in a moment. But assuming you know where your community folder is, best just renaming it. What I do, I just right click on it, go to rename. So wherever your community folder is, right click on the community folder, highlight it, right click, go to rename. And I keep the community part, I just type dot old, community old, and press return. So there you go, all my community stuff is in there, but the sim won't pick this up. In fact, I'm on desktop, I'm recording you in desktop mode. I'm going to go to my Steam and launch Flight Sim. And just keep an eye on what will happen here. If Flight Simulator, it's, it's going to take a moment or two to get past the Steam sort of requirements or registration. And then it will start loading in. It's always a little bit slower on Steam, but that's just the way it is. Uh, once Flight Sim, sim starts, there we go. So this is Flight Simulator, obviously. I've got it in windowed mode. Just let this start up. There we go. It'll get past this part. Once it gets into loading, it will look at your folder on your PC and realize there's no community folder because I've renamed that community folder. There you go. See? It did it in front of our eyes. It added a community folder. Now, if I click into that community folder it's just created, there's nothing in there. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix this. So because it couldn't find a folder called just community, it created its own one, which is now empty. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let Flight Sim finish loading and come out of it safely when I'm on the Flight Sim main menu, quit to desktop, and I'll bring you back in just a moment. Okay, so I quit out of Microsoft Flight Sim safely. Don't have Flight Sim running for this part. Make sure you're out of it. Remember, only do this part I'm showing you, the previous part, when the Sim update is due to be released, just before you update it. So when you know on the day, maybe, when Sim Update 15 is about to be released, do that part then. Rename your community folder to community.old, for example, or community.backup, whatever you prefer. I just prefer this one. It's easier to type. When it updates, it will create a new folder called community anyway, and then we're on this step. So remember, only do this on the day of update. So there you go. That's the community folder it's just created. Double-click in it to make sure it's the one before you delete it. And I'm going to right click and delete that folder because I don't need that. And then we'll come to the one we renamed. Click on it. Double click in it to make sure all your mods are in there. Right click, rename. Simply rename it back to community. 
So remove the dot and old in my case. And it's just now called community. So if I run Flight Sim again on the day of Sim Update releasing, once I've launched in, once I've updated to Sim Update 15, once I've launched the Sim and it's created a new folder, and then I'll come out of it, rename this folder back to community, and all these mods should be in it. Now, there's a one thing I want to mention here. You may not have even messed around with your community folder, but you may have mods in there that you didn't know were in there. For example, the Just Flight 146 and the TBM 850. I bought my TBM and Just Flight 146 from Just Flight, from this website. I'm not logged in, but I bought them from here. When you buy it, you get given a download link. That download link is an EXE file, and it installs the aircraft for you in your community folder. It seems to pick up did in my case at least it picked up my community folder and knew where it was and it installed it automatically so you may not know where your community folder is or you've never even played with it but you may have mods in there if you don't know where your community folder is and you're on pc i'll put a couple of default links paths to where the default community folder is if you've installed it on a bespoke drive like i have then obviously, you, hopefully, you would know where your community folder is. If you still don't know, you're still having trouble, come over to our Discord, and I've put in common issues here, community mod installation issues. Come and look at this. It may help. Uh, if you still can't do that, I'm not sure how much more we can help you. But if you've not installed anything in your community folder, like I said, you don't have mods in here like I have, don't worry, just go sim update. And I've done it, so anyway, I've, I've done it before, where I've had mods in my community folder, I've not backed it up, and everything still worked fine, it's just not advisable, you may get crashes in the sim and different things happening in your simulator. So there you go, those steps were for PC, now let's relaunch the sim and show you some steps for both Xbox and PC. Okay, so we're on to the last and final step, which will be important for both Xbox and PC pilots. First thing I'm going to do, because I'm on PC at the moment, I'm just going to go to world map, and I'm going to go into my aircraft list at the top here, because I've just renamed my community folder and restarted the sim, and as you can see, I've got my black square. These weren't there before when I renamed my community folder, but because I renamed it back, look at the previous step, back to community, my aircraft and mods and whatever will be in here now. So just scroll down to the 146. Yep, that's back in there. That's a mod that I put in my community folder separately. And the goose juice is there. Juice goose is there as well. And any other aircraft I've added there via mods in my community folder are back in. So that's okay. But let's get on to the point now. So you're on Xbox and PC. You've updated to sim update, whatever it will be. Next step is to go to Profile and, com and Content Manager. So from the main screen, just in case we've got uh, people who have just started simming, I'll go through that again. So go to Profile and then Content Manager. What you want to do is click in... Oh, it's acting a bit slow, my sim. Click on the checkbox next to Update Available. Click on that. And as you can see, I've got a few updates available. This is not due to a sim update. Well, this one might be. I just might not have updated that since the last, last sim update. I think I might have done. Doesn't matter. Uh, what you'll probably find with update available after a sim update, you're going to find a whole list here which you need to update. So like for me, I fly around the UK and France a lot. I'm going to look for them and I'm going to update them. For aircraft you're not flying, I'm not flying these aircraft much nowadays. I probably will come back to the PMDG at some point, so I'll need to update that. But click on the areas, world update areas, and aircraft, and anything else in here, update it. Click on it, and click install, which is basically updating it. I'm not going to do that now, but yeah, click on it, and then update them before you start flying to ensure that the areas and aircraft you're flying are compatible with the recent update. So I hope you followed that for PC and Xbox pilots. 
Go to Profile from the main menu, Profile, Content Manager, and check, check the Update Available box to see what updates are available. Normally there's quite a lot available here that you need to update after a sim update. For PC pilots, back on you again. For some aircraft, like me, I bought from external flight uh, sites. The Black Square, like I showed you before, I got from Just Flight. The 146 Professional, I got from Just Flight. There may be an, a patch available, which I'll have to, a, a new download installer, which you'll have to check back on the Just Flight website in this case, available after this next sim update. Typically they will be, so the aircraft are compatible with the sim update, depending what's changed within that sim update. This sim update 15 forthcoming is quite a big one. I expect a patch for these aircraft, for the 146 and for my TBM 850, which is just above there. There we go, TBM 850. I expect a patch to be pushed out for them. So I'll be checking back on the websites I bought these from. This is for PC only, of course, PC pilots rather. You only need to be concerned about that if you bought from external websites. For Xbox pilots, all you need to do, install the update, like I showed you, Profile Content Manager, and click on, load in, update available, and update. There you go, my friends. I hope that was straightforward and not too complex to follow. Watch back the part of the video that's important for you, and go through it slowly at your own pace. Good luck with this next sim update, sim update 15 now due at the moment, it's still due tomorrow. Let me know how that goes for you and let me know the th your thoughts on this video. If you find it, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I do many of these types of videos and I'll see you soon.